the monsters, boys and girls, welcome to an exciting night at the Monster Martial Arts Arena, where our favorite musical monsters throw down. The Coliseum wasn't good enough. We paid to see monsters fight, and here is the place to watch. So grab a snack, hold on to your hat, and get ready to watch a brawl of monstrous proportions. Mamma initiates by using its size to its advantage. It towers over Furcorn, a more lightweight monster. Furcorn only fills a one by one grid space, while its opponent is twice that size. And he looks like Bigfoot went a little too heavy on the shaving cream. Furcorn realizes this disadvantage. It's painfully aware that it is literally unarmed as well. The small monster doesn't have any upper limbs to defend itself with, making a fair fight difficult. And Mammoth's got a six-fingered advantage, and lunges for the plant stalk on Furcorn's head. But it ducks out of the way before Mammoth could even get close. The Furcorn is a naturally timid monster, so like prey animals of the real world, it could be hyper-aware of their surroundings and possess a very quick reaction time. Furcorn is now in a great spot to demonstrate its defensive abilities. Check out those teeth! According to MSM Fandemonium, Furcorn's jaws are strong enough to bite through a smunkin, which I'm pretty sure is just a normal pumpkin, but, but still. Not only is Furcorn's body primarily composed of jaw muscle, it also has concerningly carnivorous teeth. If it continues to evade Mammoth's attacks, it could deal some serious damage through its bites. Mammoth's offense is similar to a human's, consisting of swipes and kicks. Unfortunately, the Furcorn doesn't possess a separate head from its torso, meaning that it can only really look where its body is facing. Because of this limited peripheral vision, Mammoth snags its trailing headstock. With no way to free itself, Furcorn is at Mammoth's mercy. Please stand by for small green explosion. Furcorn is at an unarguable disadvantage. The general mobility and superior body plan of Mammoth allow it to take the lead in the match and deal the final blows. And that's a knockout! The round results show us that Mammoth dominated every skill set applicable in the fight. Wait. Ooh, like, what? What's that sound? I'm not sure. I thought this simulation was over. But is that a helicopter? Oh, it seems we didn't take into account one crucial detail about Furcorn. Their species is legally protected by the government. It is impossible for anything bad to happen to them, and thus, any violence directed towards a Furcorn is in violation of federal law. Looks like Matt will spend a few years in the slammer. This fact completely changes the output of the round. With the power of the law on its side, the Furcorn wins the battle. At least, the one in court, but not in the ring. But that's all that matters. Dang. We might want to bar the Monster Protection Agency from Furcorn's next fight. Oh, they can't know that I haven't been filing my taxes. Furcorn's next fight? That's right, viewers. You heard him right. This episode is merely the first installment of an entire Monster Martial Arts season. Watch each installment to be introduced to the competitors in this season, as well as keep tabs on which monster may win the season championship. We also have a chance for you viewers to turn the tides of the fight. Should it have ended differently? Do you have arguments or thoughts? Put them in the comments, and it just might warrant a rematch. After all, Wilix wants these fights to be as lore accurate as possible. I just want bloodshed. Okay, and that is it for this episode of Monster Martial Arts. Thank you, and good night. <laughs>